Okay. That's perfect. All right, so I just picked up this Thunderbolt 3 SSD enclosure. Comes with this little pouch, which I'm not going to use. Here it is. It's going to be for my new MacBook Air um, with the M1 chip. So we're going to follow the instructions, which came with it right here. Also came with a couple of heat sink and a couple of screws. So let's see what it says to do. And it actually came with a screwdriver also. And holy cow, there are a lot of tiny non-magnetic screws. So it was difficult. I have pretty steady hands. I'm a dentist, but it was a nightmare. I actually needed like loops, like a magnifying glass uh, to put the screws back in. It was really pretty bad. Okay, now I've already used this. 970 Evo Plus. So, let's see if we can put this in here. Okay. So, as you can see, I put a lot of heat sink material to dissipate the heat because these uh, Thunderbolt 3 enclosures generally run extremely hot. So I figured better safe than sorry. So I really loaded it up and shoved it in there and it worked out pretty well. The screws pulled it down nice and tight. And that's it. It's not running nearly as hot as the one that I had prior to this. Let's put it that way. I don't want to name any brands. CB and use the provided square shaped thermal pad on top of the main controller. All right. So here I am fighting with those little tiny screws and then I'll plug it in to the M1 MacBook and we'll run a speed test, a read write test and see. The bolt cable. One side in here. Wish me luck. All right, let's see if anything shows up. We got a green light. That's a good start. So disappointing result with that Samsung Evo 970 along with the Thunderbolt 3 uh, enclosure. You can see the write speed's not even a thousand. The read speed is fine. So apparently this is very common. If you look on the Mac forums, this is something that a lot of people experience. The story is this, I put an SSD in here, it's not running so great, it's not running so fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Sabrent rocket, put it in here, and see if that works any better. I'm going to take what's in there now, which is a Samsung put it into here because this is USB-C. This is a 970 UO Plus. This is going to go into the pluggable. Actually, I can even watch how much easier this is. Watch. 
push the button, opens, <laughs> and it just snaps right in. Watch. Just pull this back a little bit. That's it. And I just got the one terabyte version. I didn't want to spend three hundred dollars. Oh, nice case. Look at that. It's beautiful. Let's open it up and see what's in there. A little book. This is really nice. There it is. Okay, so now we'll stick this back in here. That's good. Let's initialize it. Cyber rocket. One terabyte. Let's erase it. Uh, do it ex fat. Let's call it rocket. Let's just start a little screen recording so I can see. Uh, applications, let's go to QuickTime. Alrighty, so let's open up, let's put a file in here, new folder, okay, now let's run, uh, two, same thing, the target drive, <coughs> it's going to be the rocket. Well, it's a little better, but whatever. All right, so that's what I'm getting. Now let's see for the argument's sake if I format it the other way. Let's stop this. Uh, well, okay, let's do this. Let's go back to the disk utility. Go back to the rocket, erase it, and format it in
Okay, done. No. Huh? Okay, so there's the rocket. Let's put a new untitled folder on there. disk rocket nope doesn't make any difference oh well let's do five gigs So, So that's what we get. Well, that's it.